I well, made it to July 4th, 2024 here. Really nice. Well, I mean, not nice and sunshiny, but absolutely no wind. Maybe a drizzle coming on here a little later on today, but uh, you know, that life should be okay. We're shooting in the shed here. We're shot down there at 50 yards. Came out really well. I'm not sure it'll show up here on the camera. I'm sure it won't, but we actually hit the black there, so pretty cool. Did that with this. 54 caliber full stock Hawken. Got herself a rear tang sight on it. Heavy gun, one inch barrel. Anyway, we'll see where shot number two goes. We're using a light charge here of of a 2F Go X and running about. 50 grains here. This is, uh, I think, a 3. Point, yeah, 3.4 dipper, and we're shooting a, a 530. Let's see, a Lyman cast, I believe, round ball, and I'm going to use. As far as the patch goes, I've got these soaking in in water here. These are a linen patch, linen. I think it's around um, something close to uh, 14 thousandths, but not real, not real thick. And that's 54 caliber. It should go down you know, fairly easy. I'll put that sprue cut off up. Not sure it makes a lot of difference or not, but our short starter here. Oh yeah, that's really going down easy. That's kind of good for loading in the field. Bench rest, bench shooters and stuff are going to want a tighter fit, maybe a thicker, thicker patch. And I may have to switch to that if my accuracy is really south. Okay, so we're loaded up. Over here's our shooting bench and. Capping this up with a number 11, number 11 Remington. They're a little loose. I could get by with a 10, I suppose. Pretty easy. Okay, we'll bring her to a full cock. And we're going to set our back trigger. Well, we forgot to turn our camera on, but we got our head camera going, but that's not going to show much of where we hit down there. Let's flip this on, see if it shows up. I don't know, but I think we're in the black there about 10 o'clock. All right, let's load up a third shot.
Now that one's just outside the black at about 2, 2.30. Okay, not bad. Um, pretty happy so far. We'll go out and check our patches pretty quick. We'll load up a fourth one. If you're set up for this, which I'm not good as I could be or should be, you can actually load reasonably quick. At least, how do I say, satisfyingly quick. And the black powder shooters are normally in no rush to do anything, kind of the opposite of the Cowboy action shooters. Main thing I got to be cautious of here when I'm on camera or doing this is that I remember to get the powder down there before the patch ball. I think we did that this time. If our camera is still recording. Kind of go out and look for some patches. I've loaded up a fifth round. Turns out that fourth shot actually was in the black. I thought it maybe was a double on the, on the one just outside the, on the edge of two, 230, but not. And I did find four patches. These are the ones that um, actually came out of the gun here. And they're looking good. You can see how dark they are because they've not been washed by the rain, which we have had going on pretty much continually for the last month and a half. Here's a patch that gets washed and um, pretty much all the darkness comes out of it. So so these are the four that we shot and they're holding up well for that, actually for that light um, light linen and, and the ball is not fitting too bad. Of course, we don't have a huge charge there running uh, 50 grains. I'm sure if I bumped up the you know, 70, 80, 90, these things would probably fry, but this is working all right. So we got our fifth load ready to shoot. Let's shoot that. Get our camera turned on over here. And see if we can get lucky and get this one somewhere near where our group is formed out there. Well, that wasn't a good sign. Oh, I see what happened. So what's up on the camera? I didn't flick my spent spent um, percussion cap off, and if that would have happened back in the day, I wouldn't be here to put the next one on, probably. All right, let's see if this will make the right kind of sound. Yeah, that's more like it. I'm thinking it's in the black. Five shots, four of them in the black, one touching. I think she's uh, pretty much liking that load for 50 yards. 
Well, here's our target, how it looks. We uh, think we better salvage it from the rain that's coming down. Light drizzle out there. Even then, she's kind of damp. And we've got, I believe that's a single shot there. I think I only shot five in here. And then I got a double here. And the one that was sitting there at 2.30 or so. Anyway, that's the, that's the target. And uh, we're going to see if we can we set a pop can up there as long as we retrieved our target. And um, we're going to zero in on that and see if we can't do some damage to it. I think that's the can, but I can't be sure. We'll pull the trigger and find out, I guess. Well, there, I just realized that uh didn't have this camera on for that shot. All that walking and pacing for nothing. I think it was the can. Okay, that front sight that I got, not sure it'll show up on here. It's kind of a translucent thing. It's got a hole in the center of it. But uh, that, it's just dark enough around the edge so we can't tell what we're aiming at. It works real fine for a target like this because I just got that black um, in the center of the thing. But otherwise it's... Anyway, I think we hit the can and I think with this rain going on right now we're going to call it quits.